Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a daily reading. There'll be timestamps below for each sign. And um, all the information that you need to know is in the description box, whether you want a personal reading, whether you wanna check out um, my video playlist. Uh, the last thing that I have for you is I am doing a giveaway at the end of every month. I'm giving away two personal readings. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, I will do a winner's video uh, first week of every month, so make sure you turn on your notifications so you can watch out to see if you are a winner. So, all right, everyone, good luck, and let's start. Okay, good morning, Cancer. Let's start with a romance angel card let's see what the energy is for cancer thank you angels and spirit okay we got too many cards there let's get one card please thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what message do you have here for cancer in love let's get oh there it is all right so the first card that you have is flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others all right some of you may be feeling a little bit flirty today or someone around you is a bit flirtatious. I feel there's somebody here. I also, um, this card uh, gives me the message that there's somebody thinking about you, somebody's thinking about time spent together, and they're really missing that fun, flirty energy that the two of you had together. Okay, so take the messages, how they resonate with you. We're gonna pull one of these uh, soulmate manifest oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. All right, so let's get one message here for Cancer. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message here do you have for Cancer in love? Let's get one card, please. Let's get one card. Okay. Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. Oh, Cancer, I hope you have not been upset here. But you know what? It's good sometimes to get out a good cry. Um, it rejuvenates our energy here, makes us feel lighter. We're getting out those emotions. So Cancer, um, you may be thinking about someone um, this can be, you know, your person you're dealing with. You remember, energies can be reversed. But let's pull the tarot, see what messages come out here. Oop. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull three cards uh, for overall energy, and then I'm gonna pull two cards for you, Cancer, and two cards for your person. Okay. All right, here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for cancer in love? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Okay, we have seven of wands, six of cups, and the star card. Let's get two cards for your energy, cancer. We have the magician. We have the High Priestess and their energy. We have the Three of Swords and actually we've got two more cards, the Sun card and the Hangman. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Yeah, so somebody here in the situation is very emotional is what I'm getting here, okay? I feel somebody, um, I feel like somebody is feeling like they lost out Cancer. Um, they're definitely missing you. So the first card you have here is the Seven of Wands. This tells me that there's been some past challenges in this connection with, with this person here. I feel like this person has some other things going on in their life as well. Um, and they're kind of chipping away at all of their challenges or things that they're trying to meet here. Uh, for others, this can also be... Um, them being very guarded and very defensive. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Six of Cups energy here. Definitely soulmate energy here. Yeah, like I said, I feel they're definitely missing you here, okay? They're thinking about you. They're thinking about the past. They're thinking about the times. I feel like this person is having some regrets here, whatever happened. 
I feel for a lot of you, this is somebody either you're um, in separation with or this can be somebody that you're, um, right now there's a little bit of distance between the two of you. You have here the star card, could be dealing with an Aquarius, all right? So I feel like um, the, your person here that you're dealing with is very hopeful, all right? Very hopeful um, that things can work out between the two of you. I just feel here, somebody here in the connection is having a hard time with their emotions. I feel like it's your person. Now your energy cancer, we have here the magician and the high priestess. This tells me here you're manifesting this cancer. I feel here you are very intuitive as by nature here, but you are also very um, intuitive with this situation i feel like you kind of already have an inkling of how this is going to play out here okay very nice energy there two major arcana here you have here the uh three of swords the sun card and the hangman you could be dealing with a leo here or could be dealing with an aquarius libra or gemini all right this person is is very um sad without you cancer is what i'm getting and i feel here with the hangman they're starting to see things um, from a different perspective all right i feel like they are hopeful that uh, things can work out with you cancer they're definitely missing you um and i feel like you know last night they you may have been in their thoughts a lot they're very emotional about this all right cancer i hope you enjoyed your daily reading um Again, if you want to enter the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love. All right, Scorpio, good morning or good evening. Let's get started here. We're going to pull one romance angel card here for the energy, and then we'll pull one uh, soulmate oracle, and then we'll get into the tarot. So let's get one card here for Scorpio. What's the energy? For Scorpio let's get one card please Ooh, we got three but we're gonna take this first one that fell out all right and then we'll get here one card here from this soulmate Oracle manifest deck let's get one card here for Scorpio what message do you have for Scorpio in love let's get one card all right Okay, so we have here um, with the Romance Angels, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, all right? This can be, in general, just healing. There may be some healing here that needs to happen between you and another person. Uh, there can be children involved, you know, if you're um, in a uh, marriage situation or a relationship where there are children. Um, this can also, too, just be that um whether it's you or your person scorpio can just be that um, there may have been issues in the childhood that are affecting relationships today all right and somebody here is needing to do some healing here to be able to move on now we have here um i have found the one that my soul loves all right soulmate energy here so i feel here scorpio this is um somebody you already know somebody um that you may be um, doing some healing over a situation, okay? So what we're gonna do here, Scorpio, we're gonna pull three cards for the overall energy, we're gonna pull two cards for your energy, and then two cards for your person's energy. All right, here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Scorpio in love? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, we have the chariot, could be dealing with a cancer. We have the temperance card, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. And we have the nine of pentacles, can be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Now let's get your energy, um, Scorpio. Let's get two cards. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Ten of Wands. Let's get their energy for Scorpio. We have the Eight of Cups. All right, 
We have the Ten of Cups and we have the Two of Swords. All right, right off the bat, I'm hearing, um, I feel here, Scorpio, somebody may have walked away from this connection. I'm picking up Scorpio that your person walked away, but I feel like they're really regretting their decision right now. They're having second thoughts, okay? We have the Five of Pentacles, so this person may have left you out in the cold, all right? Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So I feel here, okay, I feel here, Scorpio, that um, even though this person may have walked away, and remember, energies can be reversed, so take it how it resonates with you, but with the Chariot and the Temperance card, I feel like you're moving on with your life, you're taking control of your life, um, you're trying to gain some balance in the situation, keeping your emotions under control here. And I feel like you're looking forward. I feel like you're not you're you're not looking back. I feel like you're pushing forward in this situation. I see here with the nine of pentacles here, I feel this is very independent energy. I feel like you're doing well. Even though this person left you out in the cold or this person may have walked away. Um I feel uh, Scorpio, you are doing just fine here. Okay, you can see all this beautiful foliage here. Uh, very attractive energy here. Very independent energy. So you're doing well, Scorpio. For your energy, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like it may have been a bit of a struggle. I feel like you may have had a lot of challenges with this person. Um, but I feel here that you're going to be releasing this heavy energy here you're not uh putting up with this person's bs anymore um you're done and i feel like you're only going to accept truth and honesty from this person and you're making head over heart decisions here you have here for your person's energy look they walked away some of you they may have walked away from a, a family situation if the two of you have children together or maybe um you know um, children that came together in a marriage uh, for others you know this just walking away from a commitment okay or walking away from family life here but look here with the two of wands i feel like this person is regretting this situation they're wondering if they should have stayed is what i'm getting so i feel here there's definitely some healing um, that you and this person are going through but this person does know that you are their soulmate here all right, Scorpio, I hope you uh, gain some clarity in your daily today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. And have a wonderful rest of the day. I'm sending you angel love. Good morning, Pisces. Today I'm going to do uh, your daily reading uh, for love. Let's get one card here from the Romance Angels. <clears throat> What's the current energy here for Pisces? Oh, you got Fleur. Oh, this came out in, in uh, somebody else's reading here. Extend your lighthearted energy for others. So this is my card here where um, you may be feeling a bit flirtatious. I always see that card too as somebody is missing you, uh, missing you, thinking about you, uh, thinking about the, the flirtatious times the two of you have spent together. For others, this can uh, just be there it may be somebody around you uh, who may be flirting with you, okay? Or you may be having some back and forth banter with someone. All right, let's get one card here from the Soulmate Oracle Manifest. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we have here, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you wow beautiful energy here but this is about self-love and loving you okay the more you love you the more you're going to attract someone who loves you as well okay look at that energy there intertwined with someone okay loving you also makes you more attractive okay you can see it's almost like there's peacock feathers back here i'm seeing that spirit is showing me that um peacocks are very very beautiful Oop, there there we go all right i definitely feel here someone is thinking about you you may have had to 
stand your ground with someone or put your foot down about something here and that is just kind of i feel here maybe even <laughs> driving them crazy here all right we're going to pull three cards here uh for the overall energy and then we'll pull two cards for your energy and two cards for your person's energy here we go thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for pisces okay so we have the knight of wands we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so we have Aries, Leo, and Sag here, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Let's get two cards for your energy, Pisces. What's your energy, Pisces, in love with your person? Okay, we have the Temperance card. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, we have a spill here. This one wanted to stay out, so we'll do that. We have the Five of Cups. Let's get your person's energy, Pisces. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords and we have the Three of Cups, bottom of the deck. Ooh, we got the Lover's card. All right. For some of you, Pisces, I feel like there could be a third party situation. It's not going to be for everyone here. I feel like your person may be talking to somebody else and they're a little bit worried here. But let's um, start out here with the Knight of Wands. Okay, Nine of Wands energy. I feel here you're dealing with a situation where your person may be very inconsistent, hot and cold. You know, uh, you know they're very passionate about you. Okay, they're flirting with you a lot. They may be coming and going. Not um, kind of. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing this. Um, nothing sticking to the wall right now <laughs> is what I'm getting. All right. We have the lover's card here. So I feel like this can be an indication that there may be more than one person involved in, in the situation and may not be for everyone out there, okay? Could be dealing with a Gemini as well. But definitely, um, there's definitely that strong, strong connection here, okay? Very passionate connection. Uh, but unfortunately for some of you, I do feel like this is a third party situation. Oh, and I reversed these cards. And this might be too why you're feeling stuck. You're feeling trapped in a situation because things aren't consistent. Things aren't moving forward here. All right. So I feel like you may be feeling trapped here, Pisces. This may be um, your person's energy as well. But somebody here is stuck. And then we have here the Page of Wands. So I feel like your person here you're dealing with is somebody here who just wants to be free, wants to explore. But this can also be communication. But I'm getting here, I'm almost feeling here your person is communicating with somebody else here. All right. Your energy here, we have the temperance card and we have the five of cups. All right. So this tells me here um, that definitely you have some sadness in this situation. Um, I feel like you're very, very disappointed in this person. And I feel here... You know you're trying to um, get a hold of your emotions here okay because this person definitely is inconsistent um, and may have you know made you feel I'm getting here it may have even made you feel like you're not good enough and that might be why you have love yourself first and just know that you are good enough okay you are beautiful it's not a, it's not you it's them here okay because they're not doing the right thing here we have the nine of swords and we have the three of cups all right this person is worried okay um i don't i feel here like this person um i feel like this person is afraid of getting caught here okay with the three of cups energy could be dealing with an aquarius libra or gemini but I do feel here that this person is communicating with somebody else and, com and communicating with you as well. All right, Pisces, um, I hope you gained some clarity today. And I know it wasn't the most positive mes message, but I'm sending you angel love. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and I'll see you good next morning, time. Good morning, Aries, or good evening. Let's pull a one card here for your romance angels or from the romance angels. Let's get one card here for Aries. Let's get one card here for Aries. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Aries? 
All right, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. All right, so whether you're waiting for new love to come in or someone that you may already know, okay, they're telling you here that the situation is, is calling you to have patience, um, then it's going to be worth it, all right? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I'm also getting the message, too. Some of you may be even just questioning if it's worth the wait. Okay, spirit's also giving me that message, too. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Aries? What message do you have for Aries in love? All right. We have here, you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. All right. Definitely soulmate energy here. Uh, so you may be trying to manifest a new soulmate to come into your life, uh, but this can also be somebody you already know to as well. So let's gain some more clarity here with the tarot. Um, I'm going to pull three cards for the overall energy, two cards for your energy, and then two cards for their energy. Okay. So let's cut these cards really quick and get started here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Aries in love? What message? Oh, we have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy. We have the World card. That's your energy, Aries. And then we have the Five of Swords. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Let's get uh, two cards for your energy, Aries. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. Let's get their energy. We have the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, bottom of the deck. Okay, we have the Ace, Ace of Cups here. I feel here, here, blah. I feel here, Aries. I feel like you're waiting for the right person to come in here. I feel like you want this unconditional love here. You're wanting someone to come in. Look at here, you have Wheel of Fortune. So this is a good sign here that somebody, um, I feel here there is somebody coming in, um, somebody new for you, all right? But I feel like some of you are dealing with a past situation here. Um, and I feel like you're closing out that chapter. We have the Page of Wands here, so I feel you're, you're definitely wanting something new. You want to explore something new here. Um, I feel there is a past energy here, but I feel like you're moving forward here, looking for some new opportunity here, okay? You have here the World card. So I feel you're closing out a cycle here, closing out a chapter here. Um, I feel you're looking for something new, something more exciting, something passionate, and something unconditional. Unconditional love here is what I'm getting. And I, I'm getting as well that you want something that's more equal, give and take here, something that has more balance, all right? You have here the Five of Swords. So I feel like you're leaving something behind here with the Five of, of Swords. I feel like there was some conflict with uh, somebody in your life here. And for I always see this as this can also be, um, you know, a possible third party situation. There's three people in the cards. Can also uh, be separation or divorce. Um, but I definitely feel here there was a lot of uh, conflict, okay, battle here, but this card is also, to me, is this, you, you know, it's almost like you have won the battle, but it wasn't easy, okay, um, you're coming out as, you're coming out as a winner here, even though it was not easy at all for you or this other person. Now, your energy here, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, okay, so this tells me definitely, um, whoever you were dealing with in the past left you out in the cold here. And with this Eight of Wands, I feel like this is the new energy coming in for you. There's definitely new energy, some uh, romantic energy, loving energy coming towards you here, okay? May even be somebody from a distance could be dealing um, with a uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag. 
uh, your energy, um, you know, Aries energy, or it could be dealing, this past person could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now remember, um, it can be any sign, but if your sign comes up, it may resonate with you more. We have the King of Pentacles and we have the Eight of Swords for your person, okay? So I feel like the person that you were dealing with, they were just focused on their finances, all right? And, um, and then they also had fears here about the connection or something to do with finances here. So I feel like your person wasn't, wasn't uh, moving forward, okay? Because they were too focused on their work or their finances here is what I'm getting here. So I feel here the message for you is that um, your soulmate that you are meant to be, okay, um, who wants to be in your life and give you this unconditional love, all right, is worth waiting for. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Again, if you'd like to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and sending you Angela. Good morning, Leo, or good evening, I should say. Uh, today I am doing... As you know, your love reading. Let's do uh, one card here from the, there it is, Romance Angels. All right. So the card that you have here is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. So there may be somebody around you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, well, you're being, I feel here, being very cautious. For some of you, you may have already seen red flags or you may have dealt with things in the past that are now uh, making you look at things um, a lot closer than you would have looked at them before. So let's get one card here from the Soulmate Oracle Manifest cards. Let's get one card here for Leo. Let's get one card here for Leo. All right. This says, never give up on something you really want here. All right. So, you know, this could be your energy, your person's energy. Remember, roles can be reversed here. But I have a feeling here that this person that you're dealing with is not giving up here. Okay. But at the same token here, Leo, I feel like you're being very, very cautious. Okay. Paying, to, paying attention to their every move. Now I'm gonna pull three cards here for the overall energy, two cards for your energy and two cards for their energy. All right, thank you angels and spirit. We have the Hierophant. What messages do you have for Leo? Overall energy for love. We have the Five of Swords. Ooh, and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, let's get two cards for your energy, Leo. What's Leo's energy? We have the Strength card, your energy. And we have the Star card. And their energy. Ooh, they're worried. Nine of Swords. Okay. Three of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Ooh, yeah, they're definitely worried here, Leo. I feel here... Um, I feel here that they uh, are worried that you're not going to accept their offer. They want to work on things, but they're worried here. You have here the seven of wands, okay? So definitely here, I feel, Leo, this is your energy. I feel like you're guarded, okay? Can be your person too, but I feel like you're guarded here. Can be dealing uh, with an Aries Leo Sag. We have the Hierophant here and we have the Five of Swords. So what I'm getting here is I feel here that um, you may have been in a relationship or a commitment with this person. Um, and I feel definitely there was some conflict here. This is also for me a third party uh, card as well. There could have been a third party situation. Doesn't necessarily mean it was a, with another lover, but there could have been another person involved influencing this connection here. Could be dealing with a Taurus. All right. Um, for others, if you were not married or in a relationship here, I feel like this could be conflict where the two of you were not seeing eye to eye. Somebody here wanted a commitment um, and the other person just was not seeing things on the same page. Okay, if I didn't say it already, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. So I still feel here there is potential for... Um, 
a long-term relationship, something very abundant here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I get with your energy here, Leo. I do feel here that you are hopeful, all right? You are hopeful that things um, can work out. Um, I feel here you're really concentrated on uh, doing some healing or um, you may even be doing some spiritual healing um, and keeping your emotions here in balance, all right? But I see here somebody here is not giving up on the connection here, even though there has been um, a lot of conflict here, okay? There may have even been harsh words said between you and your person. Now their energy here, we have the Nine of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Uh, we have air energy, earth energy. We also have water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel here that they want to work on things with you, but I feel like they have fears that um, you are not going to accept their offer here. All right. Um, the other uh, message I'm getting here too, they are also worried that you may get a new offer or a new love in your life as well. So I feel like they have a lot of fear on their mind right here. Um, I feel like they're having trouble too uh, moving forward, almost like they want to work on things, but um, they're st so stuck in their head that they, they can't do anything. But at the same token, like I said, I feel like they're afraid you're going to reject their offer or that you're going to get a new offer, okay, and they're going to miss out. All right, um, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angels. Hi, Sagittarius. Uh, hope you're doing well. Let's do your daily love reading here. I'm going to pull one card here from the Romance Angels. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Sagittarius? Let's get one card, please. Let's get one card. All right. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of love. All right, Sagittarius. I feel like for some of you, you may be feeling uh, a little bit guarded, protecting your heart here, afraid to open your heart and receive love. All right. But your angels are saying here... Um, it is safe for you to open your heart, okay? You're, it's not going to get broken uh, every time you fall in love, all right? Okay, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Sagittarius? Let's get one card, please, one card. And this, remember, roles can always be reversed, so take the messages how they resonate with you. So let's get one card here for Sagittarius. There it is. It says here, you are on your way to meeting your true love here. Okay. All right. So for some of you, you know, this can be a new person coming in. For others, this can uh, be that you may be in separation with your person and you may be meeting up uh, with your person that you have love for. We're going to pull now your tarot cards. We're going to do a three card uh, overall energy. Um, and then we're going to do two cards for your energy and two cards for your person. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy, Scorpio and Pisces. We have the Six of Wands, okay, your energy is Sagittarius. We have the Four of Wands, beautiful. Your energy as well, or an Aries or Leo. Let's get two cards for your energy, Sagittarius. All right, we have the Moon card. Okay, there's that Fear, Sagittarius. All right. Oh, we have two more. We have Seven of Wands and the Magician. And let's get your person's energy. What's Sagittarius person's energy? Let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. Oh, we have the Lovers. And we have the Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck. 
Here we have the Seven of Swords. Okay. I feel here, um, Sagittarius, your person. I don't always see this as a bad card. This is Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like maybe your person um, may have moved on, okay, for some reason, okay. Um, it's interesting. I feel like kind of like the, your person went silent, okay? Something happened here. Your person may have gone silent and they moved on. For others, I feel like this could actually be a home move. Um, and then the third situation I'm getting here is somebody may be um, strategizing, gaining some clarity in the situation and trying to um, logically trying to figure out the situation here. Okay, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So first card you have here is the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy here. I definitely feel that this person that you're dealing with has a lot of emotion for you, all right? You do have the Six of Wands, which tells me there's going to be victory in the situation. I do feel like this uh, situation is going to be very, very successful. Now, for some of you, I do feel here this is new love, all right? For some of you, I feel this is um, someone you're already dealing with, but others, I feel this is new love on its way to you, okay? Somebody who's going to be emotionally available. I see success here, and then look here, we have the Four of Wands. This tells me there's definitely potential for a long-term uh, relationship here, even marriage here, okay? Beautiful, happy, peaceful coming together everything tied in a bow okay this is my everything tied in a bow card all right beautiful energy there 11 11 could even be twin flame energy is here as well now your energy here um sagittarius we have the moon card okay this tells me here that you're you're having some fears here okay look here we have the crab here cancer okay you have cancer energy here all right you may be fearful of the cancer for some reason here, the cancerian, all right? Um, you may have had some challenges with the cancerian here because we have the seven of wands. You may be feeling guarded, all right? That's exactly the energy I'm getting here. That's your energy. And then we have here the magician, okay? But needless to say, I feel like you're manifesting this peaceful, this peace and happiness here, this coming together. Your person's energy here, we have the Lover's card and we have the Knight of Cups. Strong water energy here, all right? So I definitely feel here your person is in love with you. This person um, is going to make some kind offer or kind gesture towards you. There may even be an apology is what I'm getting as well. It's not going to be for everyone. All right, uh, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed uh, your reading for the day. Uh, again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending good you morning, Angela. Capricorn, or good evening. We're going to do your daily uh, reading here. We're going to pull one uh, Romance Angel card. One uh, Soulmate Manifest Oracle card. And then we'll get into the Tarot. All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Capricorn in love? Let's get one message here for Capricorn. All right, ooh, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, you either have new love coming in or you've already met somebody new. Beautiful energy there. Let's uh, pull one card here from the soulmate oracle manifest cards let's see what you're manifesting here capricorn let's get one card here for capricorn all right so you have here your life does not get better by chance it gets better by change so beautiful i feel here you're in a transition period here capricorn so definitely feel here there's new love coming in here all right and it's not by chance it's by change Okay, so let's uh, pull now some tarot. We're going to do three cards for the overall energy, two cards for your energy, and two car cards 
with uh, the person you're dealing with, okay? Whether this is a new person, and you know the old person may show up as well. So here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What is the overall energy here for Capricorn? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, we have the Empress. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay, what's this worry about here, Capricorn? And then let's get two cards for your energy. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Ten of Pentacles and their energy. We have the Temperance card. And we have the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, Capricorn, this is your energy. I feel like you're doing really well. You're um, pretty stable here, okay? I feel like you're really um, feeling secure, uh, maybe doing well financially. Very attractive energy, able to take care of yourself. Very independent energy here. All right. You have here the Empress, so this is beautiful. I feel like you're manifesting this situation here, Capricorn. I feel like this is going to be this new love, this new start, um, something that has a very uh, great potential um, to be something solid and secure here, okay? We have here the Six of Pentacles here, okay? I'm getting here... Um, I'm getting here, Capricorn, that you may have some worry, okay? There's something here that um, you're worried about. I feel like you may feel there may be some sort of imbalance here um, with this new person that you're dealing with, um, or you know, you may be struggling financially here, um, and you don't know, I feel here you don't know if you're ready. Uh, for this change or a new person to come into your life, but there's definitely a lot of anxiety. For some of you, this can also be you're worried that is this person going to really put in the effort here? Is this going to be a balanced connection here is what I'm getting. You have here the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So I feel here there may be somebody um, already in your life. Um, if not, they're going to be rushing in soon here. Okay, with the um, Knight of Wands, could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Uh, but I feel here you're worried here that this may be inconsistent. Okay, this person may be in and out of your life. Um, and I feel here you're really wanting something stable, secure, and long term here. Okay, so definitely feel here there's some worries about that. If you don't have new love, I feel like this is somebody coming in who potentially is going to be a very abundant relationship. Now, um, if you're dealing with another energy here, okay, we have the Temperance card and we have the Page of Swords. I feel here, this could be a Sagittarius, uh, this could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini here, okay. I feel here, whoever you're dealing with, there's somebody in your life here that's stalking your, <laughs> maybe stalking your social media page. Um, And maybe holding back communication from you but if this is the new person that's coming in here i feel like this is spiritually guided you may meet this person online you may even meet this person on social media okay you know you maybe meet them on a dating app or um, on social media here all right capricorn i hope you enjoyed your reading um, again if you want to enter for the giveaway subscribe like comment i appreciate it I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and I'm sending you angel love. Good morning, Taurus. Uh, we're gonna do your daily love reading here. Uh, we're gonna pull one card here from the Romance Angels, uh, one other oracle, and then we'll get started. Oh, we already have your cards. We'll get started with the uh, tarot. So you have two cards here. Ooh, you have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. All right, so there's definitely chemistry here between you and your person. 
You have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right. So whether you're with someone or you're not with someone, um, if you're not with someone, I feel like you're going to be attracting somebody soon here. I feel like you have uh, very good energy right now for attracting uh, someone, okay? Almost like you're a magnet. Uh, but this is also about living in the moment, okay? Appreciating what you have. If you're dealing with another person, the two of you definitely have um, good chemistry, all right? For some of you, you know, you may, um, you may be, I'm, I'm hearing too, like some of you may be in the honeymoon phase with somebody, okay? For others, um, I feel like this is, um, you are attracting this person, okay, to you. Very, very attracted to you. All right, so let's cut these cards. Oh, I forgot to pull your uh, soulmate card here. Let's get one card here from the uh, soulmate manifest oracle card. Let's get one card here for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? Okay, so it says, you are moving on to a steady and reliable path. Wow, beautiful. So I feel here that this connection definitely has um, something in the future that's going to be stable here. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. All right. We have Queen of Cups energy. I'm going to pull three cards here, uh, two cards for your energy and two cards for your person. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages? Ooh do you have here we have king of swords ten of cups okay we have cancer scorpio pisces aquarius libra and gemini energy on the board here let's get two cards for your energy please thank you angels and spirit for taurus energy oh, i think we have them right here we have three of wands page of pentacles and their energy here we have hierophant and three of cups oh beautiful magician here wow taurus i think you're manifesting this relationship here all right first card you have is the queen of cups here all right so I definitely feel here, there's definitely emotions and feelings between you and this person. However, I feel like this person here with the King of Swords is not really showing their emotions at this time, okay? I feel like they're keeping it to themselves. They may even come off a little bit cold or a little bit distance, distant here, um, but I do feel here that they uh, definitely have feelings for you and they're just not showing it here. Okay, you may also be receiving some communication from them. Um, I'm also getting here too that they may just show their emotions differently. They may show it with, uh, you know, their actions here. Now with the Ten of Cups, I'm getting here, this is potentially going to grow to something very, very happy and stable. Okay, family situation. Some of you may have children with this person. Okay, for others, um, you know, it could be, uh, joined families here coming together uh, but beautiful energy there now your energy here we have the three of wands and the page of pentacles wow I feel here this is your ships coming in here all right this is uh, opportunities coming in for you you have the page of pentacles I'll first say you have an uh, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius energy and then you have a uh, page of pentacles energy capricorn taurus or virgo all right i feel here you know this energy that you're dealing with here um i feel here could be um i know this is your energy but this is your ships coming in okay opportunities coming in and i feel here you're going to receive a message or something that is good news here and i feel like this person could be a younger energy younger than you as well uh, we have uh, the Hierophant and the Three of Cups. Could be, actually, this is your energy, Taurus, but could be another Taurus here. Uh, got water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
I feel like this is this person is serious. This person I feel here is is wanting something long term and committed. For some of you, I feel here this can't even be a reunion. All right, um, two of you coming back together, or this could be somebody from your past that you knew, you know, in your childhood or um, in high school here, and the two of you are, are coming back together. Wow, this is a beautiful reading for you, Taurus. All right, Taurus, I hope you uh, gained some clarity here. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love. Hi, Virgo. Today I'm going to do your daily love reading. Let's get uh, one of these romance angel cards. So let's get one uh, romance angel for Virgo in love. What does Virgo need to know? Let's get... Okay, what's with the two cards? We got two cards. The last reading. Okay, it had to be a codependent card and it had to have another card with it. No. Okay, so we have addictions are affecting your romantic life here. And we have this could be the one you already met, the romantic partner you seek. I feel here, you know, you could be dealing with someone who has some sort of addiction. They come in all forms. Um, but I feel here this is somebody... Uh, Either you're not wanting to let go of this person or they're not wanting to let go of you. Um, somebody here is realizing that um, there definitely is a strong bond or connection here. Now, there may be something, too, a little bit unhealthy about the situation as well. Everybody's situation is going to be different. So let's get one card here from the Soulmate Oracle Manifest deck, I think it's called. Let's get one card here. For Virgo, what does Virgo need to know and love? Let's get one card, please. All right. Start reclaiming who you truly are. All right. So what I'm getting here, Virgo, um, I feel like this may pertain to something that's unhealthy, okay? Or uh, this can be overthinking about a situation um, or not being able to let go. It could be your person too. Remember, energies can be reversed, all right? But this is just about being your authentic self, okay? Don't get lost in the connection. Um, this is about being your authentic self and doing what truly makes you happy, okay? Not necessarily trying to please others because you, you may not always be able to please everybody. All right, so we're going to pull now um, some tarot. We're going to do three cards for the overall energy. And then we'll do two cards for your energy and two cards for your person. <clears throat> All right, so thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Virgo in love? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, so we have seven of wands, okay? Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We have the high priestess here. The letters B and J can be important to you. We have 10 of pentacles here. We got your energy, or you could be dealing with another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And let's get two cards for your energy, Virgo. Let's get two cards. All right, we have the Strength card. And we have the Queen of Wands. And let's get two cards for your person. We have the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Could be dealing with another uh, Cap, or an, I'm sorry, another Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. Bottom of the deck here, we have the King of Swords. All right. Okay. So getting here, somebody may be a little bit guarded in the situation. There may be a little bit of distance here. Um, but we'll get back to that. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So we have here the Seven of Wands. All right. I feel here someone here in the connection, um, and I'm going to read it as your person. I feel your person is a bit guarded here. All right. Maybe even a little bit defensive. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like a push pull energy could be, you know, this cult, uh, codependent uh, 
tendencies or relationship here is what I'm getting. Um, but I definitely feel there have been challenges. Now, I do feel here, you know, there has been progress with whatever challenges have happened in this connection um, because it does show you that this person is on higher ground. They are making progress, all right? You have here the high priestess here. Okay, so I feel here, Virgo, that this is about you using your intuition, you going with inside, going inside here um, to gain the insight you need in this situation. As I felt in the beginning, I feel like maybe you're getting lost in the situation somehow here. And then you had this like step back and truly reclaim who you are is what I'm getting, all right? Or some of you may be doing um, some spiritual um, healing um, or connecting to spirit more here. Um, but I feel like this is about you, you know, going within, okay, reclaiming who you are. Because I feel like you may um, get lost sometimes in this struggle, whatever this is, okay. Um, we have here the Ten of Pentacles. So this does tells me there is potential for a long-term situation here between you and this person, okay. They are showing me here the abundance um, and... Um, the coming together, okay? Happy family here. All right, your energy here, we have the strength card and we have the queen of wands, all right? So this definitely shows me you have been strong through this situation. Um, you've been able to uh, control your emotions here. Um, and I feel here you are someone who um, goes after what they want. You're very passionate. Um, and I feel here you're not a, you're not afraid of, of taking any action here in this situation is what I'm getting. Now with your person here, I'm also getting here too with your energy here. Um, I feel here too there may be some uh, something unknown in the situation or the, something that your person may be keeping. Okay, um, uh, some sort of secret or there's something unknown here that you want to know. Uh, so I feel like you're wanting truth and clarity in this situation as well. Now you have here the emperor and you have the four of pentacles. So I do see here your person is holding back a bit. Okay, they're coming across as the emperor. This could be Aries energy or you could be dealing with another Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Um, but this person keeps their emotions inside. They don't say a whole lot a lot when it comes to emotions okay um this person you know uh before they say anything they're going to have all their ducks in a row um and they're going to have a plan here okay i'm getting to this person may be very focused on their money as well okay trying to put some money away or save some money as well because i do see here this is person is somebody who wants to be able to provide for the future is what i'm getting here so you know this this unknown or this you know secret or whatever it is i feel like this can be about this person just up opening up to you emotionally and and um you know letting you know how they feel okay all right, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you, Angela. Hi, Aquarius. We're going to do uh, your daily love reading. We're going to pull one card here from the Romance Angels. We'll pull one uh, card of another oracle and then we'll get to the tarot so let's get one card here for aquarius for love what message do you have for aquarius in love let's get one card please let's get one card all right we have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all all right some of you may be feeling guarded i feel like this came out in one of your recent readings too as well so Aquarius, I feel here you may be um, dealing with the past hurt that um, may be preventing you from opening your heart, okay? Or maybe you're just feeling a little guarded right now. All right, let's pull one card here from the um, soulmate 
manifest oracle card oh look at this aquarius take a leap of faith into the unknown <laughs> so your angels are guiding you to take that leap of faith okay don't be afraid uh, to let love into your heart wow beautiful message there aquarius okay aquarius we're going to pull um three cards here from the tarot uh, for the overall energy and then we're going to pull two cards for your energy and two cards for your person's energy all right all right let's cut these cards sorry here i feel like i have a hair you know how like you you get a hair hanging on your arm and it drives you nuts you can't find it <laughs> All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aquarius in love? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, so we have the Temperance card. We have the High Priestess. And we have the Eight of Cups. And let's get your energy. We have the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and let's get two cards for your person, Aquarius. Let's get two cards. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. Oh, and we have the Seven of Cups. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have uh, Nine of Pentacles energy here. I feel here, Aquarius, you're doing pretty good. Uh, I feel like you, um, overall, for you, you're feeling pretty stable here. You may be doing well financially. Uh, very attractive energy here. Um, so, and this can also just be you wanting an offer as well. All right, but I feel like, you know, wanting something secure and stable in your life when it comes to love here. We have here the temperance card, okay? Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I feel like this is a situation where, you know, you've dealt with a lot of emotions, okay, with this person here, okay? I feel here spirit is guiding you to use your intuition. Um, I feel here, you know, spirit is guiding you to open your heart here, all right? But I feel here your emotions may be preventing um, you to do so here but they're telling you here to take that leap of faith don't be afraid okay even though you don't know what's going to happen here okay even though it may be unknown now with the high priestess here you know this has been coming out a lot lately uh, we have b and j letters here so b and j may be important in your situation you know it can be a, perp a person place or thing here um, but definitely feel here there's uh, definitely angel and spirit guidance here that is assisting you at this time all right now with the eight of cups energy here could be dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces but i feel like this person that you're dealing with uh maybe somebody who lives at a distance or maybe somebody who is emotionally unavailable is what i'm getting here okay I'm also getting here to, um, it may be a situation where you're feeling um, not emotionally satisfied of what is happening right now in the situation, okay? And that's where I feel here is spirit is guiding you um, on, on um, balancing those emotions here, okay? And, you know, giving you some patience here. We have for your energy the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands here, okay? So it shows me that you're very passionate, Aquarius. Um, I feel here you go after what you want, all right? I feel like this may even be you're feeling like you want to travel to see your person. Your person may live at a distance is what I'm getting as well. Um, or here that you're just wanting some loving communication from your person, all right? You have here in uh, your person's energy here, um, I feel like your person is confused. They don't know what they want. Um, you know, they may have been going through a lot of challenges lately. All right. Um, they don't necessarily want to give up on the connection with you, 
But what I'm getting here again is I feel like this person is emotionally unavailable. I feel like this is a situation here um, where this person gets to a specific point and then I feel here like they pull back, okay? And they're just confused. They don't know what to do, all right? So it may be your person that needs to open their heart, okay? And take that leap of faith. Remember, energies can always be reversed. But I feel like this person definitely right now is emotionally unavailable and they're struggling here with this situation because they do love and they do care about you. Um, but I feel here, you know, for whatever it is, something is stopping them. I feel like they have fears. They've been hurt before and they're guarded. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angels. Hi, Libra. Welcome to your daily love reading. I'm going to pull a one card here from the Romance Angels. We'll pull out one more oracle, and then we'll get to the tarot here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Libra? Okay, we were not ready yet. I'm not going to pull those cards. I'm sorry. Let's get one card here for Libra. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Libra? I just felt like the cards weren't shuffled enough. All right, so let's get one card here for Libra. Oh, there. Oh, look it. They want you to have two cards. <laughs> That's how it always happens there. Okay. Oh, all right. You have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. All right. And then you have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So there may be somebody um, that you're dealing with that may have been in hermit mode, okay? And I feel like they're coming out of hermit mode and they want to uh, return to your life, all right? Whether you want them to or not. So let's uh, pull one card here from the soulmate uh, manifest oracle deck let's get one card here for libra let's get one more card here for libra okay life is a great big canvas throw all the paint on it you can wow beautiful okay i feel like this person's coming in very passionate all right uh, very passionate taking some action uh, I feel like this person's going all in, all right? So interesting here, Libra. Let's pull, um, we're going to pull three cards here. Uh, for the overall energy, we're going to pull two cards for your energy and two cards for your person. All right, let me just cut through these cards. There we go. All right, so thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What uh, is the overall energy here for Libra and their person? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. We have the Page of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Temperance card. Let's get your energy here, Libra. What's Libra's energy? Let's get two cards. Okay, we have the Page of Cups and the Tower card. And your person's energy here. We have the Justice card. And the Five of Wands. All right, Bama Duck, we have Nine of Pentacles. Very nice energy here. I feel like there's an offer coming through for you. Okay, something more stable and solid. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right, yeah, I feel here there is somebody returning to your life here. We have the Page of Wands and we have the Ten of Wands, okay? So I feel like this is a situation where um, there it has been a lot of struggle in this connection here, all right? Um, there have been a lot of challenges, um, you know, you may, you've been carrying this with you, this energy with you for quite some time here. But I feel here there is some communication coming from this person who is returning to your life. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. You also have Sagittarius energy here with the Temperance card, okay? 
So what I'm getting here is I feel here there's a lot of mixed emotions here in this situation. I'm not too sure that you, you know, are going to accept this offer from this person. Um, but I do feel here, I almost feel here like spirit um, is overlooking this situation. They're guiding you here. Okay, I feel like they're helping you on your path here. Okay, to bring this into balance. Okay, if you're wanting to be with this person. And I feel too, you've been very, you were patient with this person in the past. All right. Now we have here uh, for your energy, the page of cups and we have the tower card here. I feel like you're wanting an apology. I feel like there was something earth shattering that happened here in this in the connection in the past. Um, you know, I feel there was something here that broke you up, uh, the two of you up, all right, or separated the two of you. Okay. And I feel here this, you know, the universe intervened here because something wasn't right. There was too, too much heavy energy in this connection here. And like I said, I feel here spirit is definitely guiding um, you in this situation. So I feel like you want an apology or you just want this person to be sincere um, and offer you sincerity here um, or to reach out with something, you know, very kind and loving here. It may even just be, you know, to show some emotion here in the connection. Uh, could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. And then your person's energy here, we have the Justice card and we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like your person is feeling, you know, definitely feeling um, there was conflict between you or the two of you were not seeing things on the same page. You may have even had an argument. And I feel like they're coming forward now with truth and clarity and balance here. I feel like they want to make things right with you. Okay. Now, whether you want to accept this person back or not, or hear what they have to say is a different story here. All right. Um, all right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't Aquarius, Libra. Oh, this is your energy too, Libra. But I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love. Hi, Gemini. This is your daily reading. Uh, I'm going to pull one uh, card here from the Romance Angels. We'll pull another oracle and then we'll get to your tarot. So let's get one card here for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know in love? Let's get one card here for Gemini. One card here for Gemini. Oh, wow. Too many there, but we got one. Oh, we got two there. All right. Okay, Gemini, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. All right. Some of you may be want, wanting to work on a connection with someone. For others, this can be your person wanting to work on things with you. We have finances and careers. I don't know why, but they're showing me the muscle. Look at that <laughs> muscle, okay? Uh, look at that, what they call that, a gun. Look at that gun there. I don't know why Spirit is showing me that. Maybe your person uh, is very, works out a lot. Okay, I don't know why, but all right. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. So I feel here the person that you're dealing with, Gemini, may be somebody who was really focused on their finances, all right? And so in the past, they may not have put in the effort is what I'm getting here, but I do feel here they do want to work on the connection with you. So let's get one card here from the uh, Soulmate Manifest Oracle cards. Okay, we're going to keep going here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages, what message do you have for Gemini? What message do you have for Gemini? Let's get one card here, please. Let's get one card. All right. Life is tough, but so are you. Okay. Muscle here. <laughs> I was talking about the muscle. I don't know why. Life is tough, but so are you. So I feel like you've been, this is a, a message of being strong. I feel like you've been strong through this situation. Wow. Okay. Interesting. All right. We're going to pull three cards here uh, for the overall energy, two cards for uh, your energy and two cards for your person's energy here. 
All right, let's cut the duck. All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Gemini for overall energy? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, we have the six of cups. All right, they're definitely thinking about you. Thinking about memories the two of you have had together, soulmate energy. Woo, we have Wheel of Fortune. All right, things turning in your favor. Woo, I feel the blessings are coming here. Oh boy, Four of Wands, beautiful energy there. Okay, wow, best reading of the day, Gemini, I have to say, so far. Let's see here, let's get your energy, Gemini. We have the Chariot card. We have the Three of Pentacles. Let's get their energy. We have the Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. And the Magician. Yeah, this is the best reading of the day, Gemini, I have to say. Okay, you have Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you've been patiently waiting, okay? Uh, for this person to do what they need to do here, okay? Could be your person too. This person could be working very hard, you know, on their career and their finances. They may have, you know, not shown you uh, as much attention in the past as they should have here. But this person isn't giving up on you. That's what I can say for sure. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. We have here the Six of Cups, okay? Soulmate energy here. As I said, they're thinking about you and thinking about the past, all right? Um, they're being nostalgic. Uh, definitely have beautiful feelings for you. And you have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The blessings are coming here, all right? The wheel is turning in your favor. And look here, you have Four of Wands. This is my card of everything tied in a bow. Everything's going to... I feel here this definitely has very beautiful potential to come together in a committed long-term relationship, peace, happiness, joy. Uh, if you want to have children, I feel like you may even have children with this person or two of you may have children and come together as a family. But this is like having it all. Beautiful energy there. Um, again, fire energy, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. You have here the Chariot card and the Three of Pentacles. I was getting some of you may have cancer in your chart here, um, but I feel here you really want to move forward with this person and you want to work on things with this person. Okay, that's what I'm getting for your energy. I feel like you um, definitely um, have a lot of... A lot of... Um, I feel like, you know, they have your heart here and vice versa. There's a lot of love and emotion in this connection is what I'm getting. We have here the Ace of Swords on the Magician, okay? So I feel here they're definitely manifesting the situation with here. They're coming forward, okay, with truth, with clarity. They want almost a new start with you. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. My battery is about to die, so I don't know if it kind of fogged out on you. But they're coming forward with clarity and truth here. They want a, a, a fresh new start with you. So beautiful energy here, Gemini. I hope you gain some clarity in this reading. Again, if you'd like to um, enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.